Hi, welcome to Alliance Communications. Are you trying to figure out why your internet maybe isn't working the way that you expect or want it to? This tutorial is going to help guide you step by step to use a speed test app to see your download and upload speeds on a specific device. Before you start, there are a few things you will need to know. You may need your login information for purchases in the Google Play Store. You will also want to know what speed of internet you have from Alliance. If you don't know your speed, please call us during business hours or look on your monthly statement. Every phone, device, and software version might look a little bit different. However, each step will be very similar. Today we are going to go through the steps to download the speed test app to your Android device. From your home screen, click on your Google Play Store. In the Play Store, you will do a search for speed test. You want to select the speed test by Ookla. It should be a black app with a speedometer icon displaying in white. You will press install if you haven't downloaded this app before. Once you press install, it may prompt you for your Google Play login and password information. If it does, enter your information and sign in. This will download the app to your device. You will then press open to open the speed test app you just downloaded. It will ask you to review your privacy options. Press next. It will then ask for permissions to function correctly. Press continue. It will ask you to allow speed test to access your device location. This is encouraged since the app will find network information specific to your area. Choose allow. It will then ask you if you allow speed test to make and manage phone calls. This is not necessary. Choose deny. You may get a request from Ookla to collect analytics and crash reports. This is up to you. You will see server identities listed below the go button. As long as you allow the app to access your location, you will see Alliance Communications and SDN Communications. If that does not match, you can choose the hyperlink to update the information. Next, press the Go circle to begin the speed test. Depending on your download and upload speed, your device, and other Wi-Fi uncertainties, this test may take some time. You will see the progress as it completes. Once the test is done, your results will display. It will provide you a download and upload speed. It's usually a good idea to complete the test two or three times to get average speed results. Compare these results with your build, download, and upload speed. Also remember, if you are using a Wi-Fi connection, you will almost never get your true speed. In my example, my download speed is just over 56 megs, and my upload speed is at 25 megs. You can complete these same steps on each device, hardwired or wireless, that you have in your house to determine speeds on a device. This will help you and us identify if you need a faster speed, need to upgrade a device, or if there could be other equipment, such as a router, causing your speed issues. It's quite a few steps, but once the app is downloaded, it's a quick way to see why your internet might not be working the way that you want it to. If you have any troubles or questions or concerns about your results, call us and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for spending time with us today.